Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. In this video, I want to answer the two most common questions I receive about Lightroom. Now, I covered both of these issues in my previous video series, both the Lightroom 5 video series and the Lightroom Quick Tips video series, but most people haven't made their way through every single one of those videos. So I wanted to do one quick video where I answer both of these questions then when I receive an email from anyone, instead of typing out a long explanation of what they need to do to correct it, I could just refer them to this video. Now, the first issue that people have is they have this blue and red blotches in their images. They don't know how they got there. And you can see I recreated it here with this sunset. I have these blue blotches, and right where the sun is, I have this red blotch. What these are are clipping indicators. What that means is we're clipping either the whites or the blacks. When we're clipping white, Lightroom will show red. When we're clipping black, Lightroom will display blue, and that's what we have here. Now, you, if you have this and you don't know how you got it, you obviously inadvertently turned it on. And there's two ways you could have turned it on. In the histogram, if you see in the corner here these little triangles, this one on the left is the clipping indicator for the blacks. If I click on it, you can see it turned it off. And similarly, on the far right, we have the clipping indicator for the whites and I'll click on that and it turns that off. The other way you may have accidentally turned them on is while you're in the develop module if you hit the J key on your keyboard you will toggle them on and off. So that is probably more likely what happened. You accidentally hit the J key. Now what the clipping indicators mean is there's no information in those areas. They're either clipped absolute white or absolute black and there's no detail there so usually you want to avoid that so you would go to your basic panel and adjust your whites and your blacks now that leads us to the second question I often get people are missing things over here on the right usually on the right panel you can see I don't have my basic panel so I want to get I want to adjust my whites and blacks so I do not have these clip uh, clipping indicators on anymore but I'm missing the panel well, to get it back, all you have to do is right-click on any of these. So just right-click right there, and you can see this little menu pops up. And you can see where the basic panel is not checked. All the other ones are checked. Just click on it, and it reappears. Now, what happened there is you might have accidentally right-clicked and dragged or something and hit the checkbox to turn it off. So all we got to do is, um, as I mentioned, right-click and then uh, recheck that box, and we're all ready to rock and roll. And we have the basic panel and we could go and we could turn the whites to, you know and it's okay to have actually clipping right where the sun is you know because that's brilliant white spot right there so that's fine so that's it those are the two most common questions I receive clipping indicators are somehow on and you don't know how you got them on and you're missing some of these tabs and this goes on the other left panel too if you're missing any of those just right click and make sure it's checked that's all you have to do. All right, so that's it. I hope that helps anyone that has had these problems and don't know how to get out of it. Um, thank you everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys soon.